The latest on the shooting at Las Vegas, an alleged girlfriend of the shooter who was in the Philippines at the time of shooting has returned to the U.S. She is currently being interrogated by officials. This even as the, the 64-year-old Paddock had reportedly transferred $100,000 to his girlfriend. Marilu Danley is the name of the girlfriend and she received these $100,000 days before the attack. Meanwhile, the investigation is underway. The police say that the attacker's motives still remain unclear. But after examining various evidences found in the gunman Stephen Paddock's hotel room, officials say that the shooting was premeditated and pre-planned extensively and over a long period of time. He was in fact monitoring the police movement through the camera. His guns had devices to make them behave like automatic weapons. Paddock kept firing continuously for 9 to 11 minutes. I'm not aware of any transmission, but there was cameras. There was cameras located um, in outside of the room and inside of the room, uh, along with the firearms. And he had set up how many cameras? Uh, I, I don't know what the specific and numbers do you know. Um, well, I, I, I anticipate he was looking for anybody coming uh, to take him into custody. And earlier, the police recovered 47 guns from Stephen Paddock, some from the hotel room and others from his home in Mesquite, Nevada. Stephen Paddock even had ammonium nitrate in his car. Paddock did not have any history of mental illness, political discontent or radical views on social media. He also had not served in the military. Paddock fired from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay and killed himself when police moved in. Paddock's brother spoke to the media again and in an emotional interview he tried to make sense and explain his brother's actions. He didn't plan this for 35 years. There's, it just, he didn't plan this for 35 years. This happened to my brother. Whatever caused him to do this happened in a very, a very short time period. It's you. But this happened over the course of months. It happened over Though the shooting has reignited debate over gun control in the U.S., President Donald Trump said it is not time yet for a political debate. What happened in Las Vegas is in many ways a miracle. The police department has done such an incredible job, and we'll be talking about gun laws as time goes by. He was a sick man, a demented man. A lot of problems, I guess, and uh, we're looking into him very, very seriously, but we're dealing with a very, very sick individual. Thank you. Thank you. And just a day after the Las Vegas attack that killed 59 and injured over 500, Las Vegas police released the body cam footage from officers who responded to the shooting first at the concert. Take a look. That wall faces Mandalay Bay and they're hunkered down behind that wall after an initial volley of shots. Hey, you guys! Get down! Go that way! Get out of here! There's gunshots coming from over there! Go that way! Go that way! At this point, they're still trying to figure out where the rounds are coming from. Just a couple of officers hunkered down next to a patrol vehicle on Las Vegas Boulevard when one of our officers gets shot. This video is obscured. You'd notice the officers were wearing those yellow reflective vests. That's what you're actually seeing. Everybody get down, get down, get down, get down. Very difficult to tell from that video, but the officer is actually standing over a, another woman. Get down, get down, get down. I got a best spot. Okay. Danny.
hear them say I have a vest on. Go, 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 go